Hi, hello everybody. My name is Professor Abdul Karim from University of Science Malaysia. And in this lecture, I will talk about the processing of uh, fats and oils. Uh, we focus on the extraction process. Okay, let's start by looking at the overview of the process of oil processing. So basically, we start with the raw material. So the raw material can be the seed, for example, from uh, soybean seed or the cotton seed sunflower seed or uh, from our uh, from the oil palm fruits then um, the oil has to be squeezed out from the raw, raw material so for this uh, purpose uh, we can use uh, two types of um, extraction we can use uh, an organic uh, solvent so this is a solvent extraction which will extract the fat or the oil from the fruits or from the seed and uh, another process is without using solvent, which is uh, basically we call uh, physical extraction. So usually this is using a mechanical press, for example, a screw press to expel or to extract uh, the, the oil physically out from the seed or from the oil. At the end of the extraction process, uh, what we'll get is uh, the crude oil. So the crude oil usually contain a lot of things, uh, undesirable components such as free fatty acid, um, FFA, or it can contain phospholipids, uh, pigments, and um, a lot of moisture. So this is uh, something that is uh, undesirable. So the next process is to purify the oil, and basically this uh, what we call the, the stage or the process of uh, refining to refine the oil to remove all the un, uh, as much as possible the unde undesirable components from the crude oil so the first stage basically the first stage of the oil processing is to extract the oil to get the crude oil then after that uh, refining then um, the second major stage in the oil processing is the modification. The objective of modification is to uh, modify the properties of the uh, oil to produce uh, oil products with different uh, physical properties. Uh, most, uh, some of this um, uh, modification is process, uh, for example, hydrogenation. It's a very uh, widely used process in the industry to increase the melting point and the uh, solid fat content of the fat. So usually we use this process to produce um, a product like margarine. Then there's also uh, interesterification inter process and also fractionation process. So the idea of this modification process is to produce uh, various types of oil uh, products which have higher value and which can be used for many um, food application. You may be familiar with a few types of uh, vegetable oil, but um, commercial oil can be extracted from uh, various types of seed and fruits. So for example, on this uh, slide, you can see that um, oil can be extracted from the soybean from the uh, palm oil fruits, oil palm fruits, from uh, canola, from uh, sunflower, from the coconut flesh, and the, from the palm kernel. So for, for the oil palm, uh, this is the oil palm fruits. Uh, the, the red, the orange uh, flesh outside is from, uh, this, uh, we, from where we can get the uh, crude palm oil and the white flesh inside, this is actually the palm kernel and we can actually extract uh, the palm kernel oil which have different uh, physical and chemical composition uh, from the palm kernel uh, part. Then um, oil also can be extra extracted from corn, from cotton seed, from olive, linseed, sunflower, safflower and uh, from castor oil. I will now focus on the extraction of uh, palm oil from the oil palm fruits. So you can see on the uh, slide here, 
the picture of uh, the oil palm uh, fruit bunch on on the on the this on the on the tree and uh, this is a picture of the fruit bunch and the cross section of the fruits and if you have not seen how the oil palm tree looks like um, this is how it looks like uh, this uh, the, the tree this is still uh, uh, quite quite um, it's not very tall so you can see the fruit bunch between the fronds like this so you have to be very careful because a sharp thorn uh, between the fruit bunch if you're not careful you can get your fingers or your hand uh, injured okay this is how the fruit bunch the oil palm fruit bunch uh, looks like if you haven't if you have not seen one um, so you can see there's a sharp thorn there and these the fruitlets down here you can see the fruitlets uh, been um, stripped out or, or come out from the fruit bunch and if we take a cross section of the uh, the fruitlets you can see this uh, mesocarp uh, or the flesh area this from uh, this uh, the part where we can extract or we can get the crude palm oil and the white flesh is the palm kernel and uh, surrounded by the shell the hard shell so we can uh, basically we can get two types of uh, oil here the, the crude palm oil from the mesocarp and the palm kernel oil from the white flesh or from the kernel part so after the extraction we can get uh, from the mesocarp or the, from the outer flesh we can get the crude palm oil so you the color is very dark uh, orange color and here uh, you can see in this picture uh, the the oil has actually separated into two layers the bottom layer is contain uh, a lot of um, insoluble uh, component or phospholipids uh, and other things that uh, need to be removed and the uh, upper layer is basically the the oil and the kernel the middle part of the fruit bunch here this is how it looks like uh, actually the the shell is very hard we have to break the shell to get in to get into the white flesh and we can extract the oil from the from the kernel to get the crude uh, palm kernel oil and this uh, how the crude palm oil looks like it's uh, quite thick and viscous with red uh, or orange color uh, actually it contains a lot of um, a rich amount of uh, carotenoids and in this picture you can see the side by side the comparison between the, the appearance of crude palm oil and the appearance of crude uh, palm kernel oil and here again the uh, more close uh, close up picture of the oil palm uh, fruit bunch uh, looks very beautiful isn't it so the story start from the plantation the fruits uh, you can see here the oil palm tree here now is quite tall so uh, we have to use the pole uh, to bring down to harvest the fruits from from the tree uh, it's not a very easy job I can tell you then uh, then the fruit bunch will be collected uh, these days we can use the tractor or the model or the modern um, means to collect the fruit then the fruit will be uh, transported by train or by using a lorry uh, to the factory As you can see here the tractor uh, bring a full load of um, oil palm fruits into the factory to be uh, processed so the if you live near the plantation you can see um, uh, you know sometimes the fruits uh, now in this case the fruits is being transported by the uh, uh, train uh, here uh, and this this train actually will go to the factory and this is how the palm oil mill uh, looks like so you can see the oil palm 
fruit bunch being uh, um, stored in the open space here and inside here uh, where the processing uh, take place so now let's look at the extraction uh, process uh, and before that we can see again uh, this uh, nice picture of the fruitlets uh, which from the oil palm fruit bunch and it's a picture of the kernel and uh, the kernel the outer shell is actually very hard so in the to get the into the white flesh inside so the kernel has the shell has to be broken uh, before we can extract the oil from uh, from the uh, palm kernel so for the uh, preparation of the um, oil palm fruits before processing so usually uh, it will go through the, steriliz the sterilization process uh, before pressing out uh, the oil from the oil palm fruits uh, the first step is um, the, st the, the sterilization process and uh, in this process the oil palm fruit will go through the uh, sterilization in the sterilizer uh, the function of this, um, the function of sterilization process is to deactivate the lipolytic enzymes. The lipolytic enzymes, such as lipase in the oil palm fruits, is um, can can cause uh, hydrolysis of the triglycerides or the fat to produce uh, free fatty acid. And this is uh, undesirable uh, chemical reaction that need to be stopped. So by using the high temperature in the sterilization process, we can deactivate the enzyme and stop the hydrolysis uh, process. The function of this sterilization process is to activate the lipolytic enzymes. In the fresh uh, fruits, the presence of lipolytic enzymes such as uh, lipase can cause uh, hydrolysis of the triglyceride to produce uh, free fatty acid and uh, we don't want to produce uh, a lot of fatty acid uh, in the in the fruits because you can get high amount of free fatty acid in the crude oil in the crude oil and this will uh, require a lot of uh, refining later to remove the free fatty acid and uh, The high temperature during the sterilization process also serves to uh, soften the, the fruit and to facilitate the removal or the stripping of the fruitlets uh, from, the, on, uh, from the fruit bunch. Also, the high temperature in the uh, sterilization process will sort of uh, soften or precondition the, the, the kernel so that uh, the, the, the shell, the kernel shell is not uh, too hard. And um, during the during the uh, process to separate the kernel from the from the flesh, um, it will reduce the breakage uh, of the kernel, so that uh, this will facilitate uh, the separation of the kernel from the flesh <coughs> in the processing of the palm kernel oil. So this is a, a typical site um, in the factory. Uh, you can see the fruit, uh, the fresh fruit branches in the metal uh, cages ready to be uh, loaded into the sterilizer uh, for the process of sterilization. And this is the picture of the sterilizer. You can see the long uh, uh, struct, uh, barrel of the sterilizer and the door here. Uh, and this is the rail, the rail where the, the, the metal cage will come in from this uh, direction and will push through in, in, uh, into the uh, sterilizer. So uh, typically in the factory you can have a few uh, sterilizer to, for the sterilization process. And in this picture you can see the, the metal cage containing the fruit bunch is being pushed inside the sterilizer. And this is an example of the schematic diagram of a screw press um, this might not be the same type that we uh, normally use in the extraction of uh, palm oil uh, in this case this is actually the screw press for the oil extraction from the fruit or from the from the seed so basically it consists of the the, the screw here 
and the feed inlet here uh, and the cage the metal cage and the outlet for the oil and um, the process of extraction of the oil will uh, occur inside this uh, structure so this is a nice um, uh, flow chart to show the various stages in the palm oil uh, processing so we start from uh, transporting the FFB the fruit the fresh fruit bunch from the plantation by using uh, various means of transportation then it will go to the uh, oil mill to the plant for processing then uh, here the whole uh, part here is actually the oil extraction uh, at the oil mill starting from the sterilization to deactivate the enzyme and uh, to, uh, eat, to to facilitate the process of the stripping of fruitlets later then the next process is stripping which uh, which is the process to separate the fruitlets from the fruit bunch and this will go through the extraction process to extract the oil and then the purification process to remove uh, the majority of the uh, undesirable component in the crude oil then finally we get the crude oil but at this stage the crude oil still contain a lot of um, uh, fatty acid high amount of free, uh, free fatty acid maybe between three to five percent uh, it contain uh, gums uh, phospholipids uh, waxes pigments so this need to be uh, removed in the process of uh, refining and um, we will look at refining process later but basically uh, there are we can use uh, physical uh, refining by using steam or we can use uh, chemical refining by using uh, alkaline process but uh, both whether physical or alkaline refining the idea is to remove the gums or phospholipids um, free fatty acid so various stages uh, of refining and finally we can we will get the refined oil RBD palm oil here means refined bleach and deodorized uh, palm oil and um, we can get various byproducts from the refining process for example fatty acid distillate or the soap stock the, the soap stock uh, this is another picture uh, or the flow chart showing the same uh, process as the previous slide so basically we start by um, uh, transporting the raw material into the factory and it will go through a sterilization process and the whole process here is the stages to get the uh, uh, crude palm oil and the kernel which is the middle part of the fruits will go a separate process usually a different part of the factory to produce the uh, palm kernel oil and this is yet another uh, flow chart uh, looks like uh, more complicated but basically it consists of the same uh, stages to produce the um, crude palm oil and also crude palm kernel oil um, so again we start here this is where the uh, FFB or the fresh fruit bunch you will go in through the sterilizer then the stripping process to remove the fruitlets from the fruit bunch then the extraction process here clarification uh, process to remove the sediments and other uh, uh, said, uh, raw uh, undesirable components in the crude oil and finally we get the crude palm oil and on this part here this is actually the uh, process to produce the palm kernel crude palm kernel oil so we can summarize the extraction of uh, palm oil uh, from this uh, diagram So we start with fresh fruit bunch. It will go through the sterilization process, stripping of the fruitlets, 
then the extraction by using uh, screw press and the clarification and purification before finally we get the crude palm oil and the nut uh, sorry the kernel will go through uh, also a separate process to produce the palm uh, kernel oil this is a picture of um, crude palm kernel oil and this is the refined uh, palm oil RBD stands for refined bleach deodorized palm kernel oil